What up, YouTube? RoxFanatic17. Um, got a pretty big mail day for you guys. Not a whole, whole lot of stuff, but what I have is super awesome. Um, this stuff has come in the mail over the past week, um, so I wanted to get this started. Um, and I'm going to start off with a contest win coming from this man, Zane Savage. Um, shout out real quick to Wesker Griff, Ed. Um, as you guys know, I haven't been terribly active on YouTube as of late. Um, just with my job and everything, been traveling a lot, and that's going to continue. Um, but Ed sent me a Facebook message saying, I don't, you know, I know you haven't been around a lot, but you won Zane Savage's Matt Piece contest. Um, and I went back and watched the video, couldn't believe it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so what I won was the Phil Rizzuto uh, Matt Piece. And it looks incredible. Really nice picture. Love that picture. And then it's inscribed, Holy Cow, Phil Scrooter Rizzuto, Hall of Fame 94, number 10, MVP 1950. Uh, so Zane, thank you so much uh, for holding this contest. I was, you know, really, obviously really happy that I won. Um, been, a, been watching your channel for years, um, since before I had my own channel. Um, and you're definitely one of the big reasons I, I got into TTMing um, and stuff like that. So... <clears throat> it was awesome to, to get that in. Um, and guys, I'll have his link down below. You should go check Zane's channel out. He's just gotten some insane TTMs. And if you're into TTMing, not, he's not really as active on YouTube as he was. But if you go back, and I don't know if he has his older videos up still, but he had some insane TTMs. That, um, so uh, next up <clears throat> is my... For sale purchases from Ricky Russo. Always love purchasing stuff from Ricky um, when he has his for sale videos. Um, so wanted to go over those. Um, the first one is actually not a purchase. He, I'm almost positive he threw this in because I, I don't remember purchasing this. And it's a Vinny Castilla auto from Gypsy Queen. Um, so Ricky, thank you so much. If you guys haven't seen Ricky's videos, if you don't know who he is, I find that hard to believe if you're on my channel and don't know who he is. Um, but he is just one of the best tubers in the card, you know, card community, um, really just incredibly generous, um, you know, always hooks us up, is always showing us breaks. He breaks any product for the most part that you want all high end. They're, they're insane. I cannot sing that guy's praises high enough. And then, you know, just to, to show, you know, he didn't have to do this. He threw in, you know, a gypsy queen auto, Vinny Castilla. Uh, for my PC for the Rockies um, and I do not have a lot of autos of this guy as Ricky knows so Ricky thank you so much for that uh, and on to the purchases and I have ordered these from like least to best or worst to best worst to best um, the first one is a rare basketball pickup I don't really pick up a whole lot of basketball but I actually picked up a uh, um, actually the majority of this purchase was basketball, believe it or not. Um, so this first one was a Festus Azili rookie, number 9399 for the Golden State Warriors, my favorite team. Um, been a fan of the Warriors forever. Honestly, thinking about switching teams, it's annoying that they're good now, and I absolutely hate being called a bandwagon fan. Like, I seriously like the shittiest teams, and then when they get good, all my friends, like, hound dog me and it's annoying so and but yeah azili who's no longer on the Golden state warriors nice auto there number 93.99 from preferred <clears throat> next was this matt duffy tops chrome auto um purple number 142 of 250 um so super nice love tops chrome every year matt duffy good prospect Good player next um i've been wanting to get an auto of this guy for a while the prices haven't been where i've wanted and when i saw this card um i had to jump on it uh, and it was aaron nola from bowman's best uh, had a pretty good season this year good up and coming pitcher for the fills um and he has a gorgeous auto i mean one of the better looking autographs from the I can call them kids now from the kids that play now. He has a really nice auto. So I was happy to pick that up. Well, I still can um, without, you know, not paying a huge price for it. 
Another basketball pickup here from Spectra. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. Patch Auto. Numbered uh, 8 of 25 for the Hawks. Um, again, <clears throat> as I said, I don't really pick up, especially like lower end basketball. Um, but definitely wanted to, to pick this up. Um, it was a great price. Love the way the card looks. I love Spectra, whether it's football or basketball. And Tim Hardaway Jr., good player. Uh, so, yeah, that was cool. <clears throat> Next baseball pickup, um, Brandon Belt, Jersey Auto. And I actually really like that they're starting to put these stickers on now. Um, if you read, it says the Jersey card, and it's right here. Uh, the Jersey card within this card has been authenticated under the auspices of MLB authentication program, of the MLB authentication program. Enter the code from the hologram at www.mlb.com slash authentication to learn more about the information on the Jersey featured in this card. Um, I haven't done that. I don't know if I will or not, but I think that's really awesome. I guess somebody in tops heard a lot of our complaints because um, we've all kind of been talking about the jerseys um, and, you know, where exactly they come from. So that's cool. I was happy to see that. Um, but, yeah, nice card of Brandon Belt. Hopefully the Giants don't win the World Series this year. But, hey, it's an even year, and they're looking like they're going to be make the wild card. So you better, better watch out. Um, and actually, believe it or not, the last three pickups are basketball. Um, so, yeah, this is a basketball-heavy video the first one is this shack jersey auto out of national treasures number 20 of 49 so jersey auto of uh, shaquille o'neal uh, really nice pickup there um <clears throat> this guy i finally got an auto of this guy i have been waiting forever for the right card and right place to come up. And I finally got a Porzingis rookie auto. Numbered uh, 69 of 149. It's a jersey auto. This is actually my first game used in first auto. Chris Thop, Porzingis. Um, I have a bunch of his rookie cards. I actually PC him. He, like I kind of PC Golden State. But he is the main guy in the NBA that I PC. I love Chris Thop, Porzingis. If you have any rookie cards or any cards of Porzingis in general, let me know. Um, his autos and jersey cards go for crazy money. But if you have any like inserts, base cards, rookies, whatever, definitely let me know. And if you have an autograph you're looking to get rid of, if the price is right, I might purchase it. Um, there's the back of that. So super happy. I mean, hands down, I was more excited about this pickup than, than anything. And the last one... <clears throat> um, Again, easily, you know, the best card by far. Um, but it's numbered four of five. It's a booklet for the, Marie, the Maurice um, Poldoloff Trophy Award winners. Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash, Bill Walton, Bill Russell. Autograph booklet. Kobe, Steve Nash, Bill Walton, Bill Russell. So, I mean, that's just an incredible pickup right there. Um, again, I don't really purchase a whole lot of, of basketball. When I do, it's high-end. This is, like, you know, super, super high-end. Um, so if you're interested in this, let me know. Um, but, yeah, I, Ricky, thank you so much for for having that for sale video. And just your generosity uh, is just unbelievable. Um, and his link will be down below as well, guys. And the last thing... I wanted to show you <clears throat> um, these pickups I got. So I got these from a local person. Um, I They asked me to do some work <clears throat> and um you know on a weekend they asked i i do hardwood flooring a little bit they asked if i would do some hardwood floor work um and i did and they paid me and then said you know we have some old baseball cards we know you collect cards would you be interested in just taking these off our hands 
And I said, yeah, sure. I mean, I'll go through them. And I went through and, you know, there's some cool vintage stuff. A lot of it's really beat up. But I found this. It's a 1933 Gaudi Lou Gehrig. I don't, I have questions of its authenticity. Um, mainly because I have nothing to compare it to. I feel like, I feel like it's too good to be true. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm not taking it out of this for the video. It, I put this in so carefully. Um, so there's that. Again, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, when it comes to pre-World War II cards, I'm, I'm really not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. I, I don't know a whole lot about him. Um, but I mean, it. the wear looks good. No creases. Um, but, you know, the wear looks right. The ink, you know, it, I, I don't know. Just tell me what you think. And if that wasn't good enough, I found a second one. Um, and this one, I'm almost pot. This one, I, I'm more certain that this is authentic than that one, mainly because of the crease there. Um, it's a little thicker, not by much, but it, I mean, it has a little bit more bulk to it. You know, the corners are much, you know, and they're in worse shape. They're bent. I mean, you got, I don't like for those of you, I mean, like just look up how much this card is, uh, is worth. And this is one of the better copies I've seen. This is like PSA mm, two, two and a half, maybe a three. Um, this is like a one at best. But still, it's awesome to see these. Again, show the card off. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I would love to say that I hit pay dirt. That would be incredible. But, I mean, even if they're, you know, even even not, you know, they're still really cool. I got them for, for nothing. And I even told him, you know, I called him back and said, you know, I found these two cards. Um, and they're like, well, I hope you enjoy them. And, you know, I told him, said, you know, these, these cards have the potential to be worth a lot of money. And they said, you know, they, we've had them for you know, forever, you know, for like 30 years or whatever. And the guy said, just take them. So they, you know, they're getting ready to move, I guess, and they don't want them in their house. So I'm glad to take them. Let me know what you guys think. That would be awesome if these are legit. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, um, sorry that ran really long, but I, I, I really wanted to show off everything that I got Ricky and, and Zane, you know, two great YouTubers and then two incredible pickups or not pickups two fines. Um, that's just insane. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope all is well, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Peace.